Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. In the most recent Black Ops 4 update, Treyarch added a new perk that basically enhances your melee damage. It also, with the modifier, can one-hit zombies at any round, and it also gives you a little health boost as well when you're using it. So it's clearly a melee-focused perk, and alongside adding that perk in, they also fixed this Easter egg, which has been broken since Black Ops 4 released. It's been broken all this time. The Easter egg has been known about since last year because it was one of the things that was leaked way back when the QA tester was going through and just leaking all of the remaining Black Ops 4 Zombies Easter eggs, but it was DK Dynamite who realized that this egg was now active in the game, so kind of need to give partial credit, I guess, to DK Dynamite for giving it a go, realizing that the QA tester's steps were now working, and letting people know about it right away afterwards. Great stuff there. Glad that this is finally solved, because it's been a mystery for quite a long time. I'm going to run through the kind of prerequisites, first of all, in this video, and I'll give you a little bit more detail on them than I might otherwise do, just because of the fact that it's been a while since you guys have probably played Blood of the Dead. You might need a refresh on some of the steps in here. And also, Treyarch changed that one easter egg step after launch, which meant that a lot of people actually didn't know how to get the golden spork anymore, and you're going to need the golden spork for this quest. So, to begin with, we're going to work on getting the silver spoon. The silver spoon's fairly easy to get. You're going to want to build the shield, and once you've got those three parts and you've assembled it in your chosen location, you're going to need to go into the warden's office and check the three warden numbers, if you guys remember. Then, with those warden numbers, you're going to go and enter them on the control box at the bottom of the citadel. That will cause a large metal cage to drop down, and you'll then be able to move on to the next step once you've got yourself the Hell's Retriever. And the Retriever, again, is pretty straightforward to grab. You just need to fill up the three dog heads. One's in the spawn, one's in the kind of middle of the map area, and one's by the Warden's office. With the dog heads filled, grab the Retriever, and I suggest you get working on the Redeemer here as well. This Easter egg has been pretty buggy for me, and the only way I've been able to get it to work consistently in my games has been if I've done the Redeemer basically first thing. I don't know why the egg is so glitchy, but trying it in solo with the Redeemer didn't work at one point, and then it did seem to work, but it was being weird. I've had the most success in co-op with the Redeemer, but your mileage may vary. I'm going to remind you how to get the Redeemer anyway real quick, just because it's useful to know. We're going to get our Retriever, we're going to go to the bridge, and then when you're on the bridge, you're going to want to throw your Retriever and kill zombies on there and try and get that blue sparking effect by standing on the kind of two ramps on the left and right sides of the bridge and throwing it down at the zombies below you. You should get the blue sparks, and after about 25 kills, you should hear a wolf howl, and that will indicate that there is now a wolf head somewhere on the map that you can only see with your shield that you need to throw your retriever at. If you need a refresh on the locations for that dog head, I've got a full guide in the description down below, and that's probably the easiest way for you to go and check those nice and fast. The spawn I've got is clearly just here on the bridge. Throw it at that, and then you'll hear a wolf howl. Now you just need to go and find a spectral dog on a dog round and spectral blast it. You'll then be able to do what you did to get your retriever in the first place, just go through the fast travel and grab the Redeemer from the rock floating in the air. So, with that in your inventory, and you can do this next bit with the Retriever, by the way, that's fine, but go to the docks and zap the electric box right here by the docks themselves. And when you do that, a crane will lift up out of the water, and you'll be able to throw your tomahawk at it and knock down a silver spoon once the crane stops moving. Grab the spoon and then head up towards the roof. You're going to want to put your spoon down inside this bathtub. Now, the next step is going to require that we have an upgraded gat of some kind. It can be the magma gat or the acid gat. I'm going to use the magma gat because it's the most straightforward way to do it. You can obviously get the gat out of the box, or you can get it from the free gat easter egg, which I will also link in the description down below. Upgrading the gat to the magma gat is very easy. You just got to do the little challenge inside the warden's house. Again, if you need a full guide on exactly how to do that, then there's a guide in the description down below once again. But if you need just a little nudge in the right direction, you put your gat in the fireplace, fill it with souls, and then you do the little run with the barrels, and then you get to the kind of stamping machine in New Industries, and that's where you'll finish up getting your Magma Gat from. So, with your Magma Gat and your spoon inside the bathtub, go to the roof and start killing zombies up there with your Magma or Acid Gat. You need to get 100 kills up there, and when that's done, you'll find that the bathtub has filled with blood, and you can hold square on it to drain it. 
Now we need to shoot down the water tower. This is the step that changed between release of Black Ops 4 and the patch that they did maybe a month or something afterwards. You can see several support structures on the water tower's base and they'll be colored kind of yellow-ish and you can shoot them off with basically any gun. Obviously a shotgun won't work, but pretty much any other weapon will do the trick. Shoot those off and once you've got, I think, all four or five of them, you should see the water tower collapse. Now, one of them is most easily viewed from the roof and another can be probably most easily shot from around the first power switch on the map. It's really difficult to see without a sniper, so I normally just spray down and up that kind of entire left side of the support structure, and normally that does the trick for me. The water tower will fall once you've got the others that are in the middle as well, and you should then be good to go over to that central kind of area of the bridge on the catwalk and throw your tomahawk at the glint in the tree to get yourself your golden spork. Now that we're there, we're about halfway through this easter egg. Yeah, this one's a real tedious one. You're going to need to go over to the big bath of orange liquid, which can be found near the buildables bench in the spawn area of the map on that spawn island. You need to get 100 knife kills next to that orange liquid. Now, I think that the easiest way to do this by far is by using that new ethereal razor perk that Treyarch just added to the game. It's going to mean that your knife becomes AoE instead of only hitting one zombie at a time, and it's just generally really strong, so highly recommend that you pick that up. Your easiest way to do this is probably to have one person hoard, and then the other person just continuously kill zombies, and then if your friend wants the knife as well, then just swap over and you can do the same thing for them, but you just got to get 100 melee kills in front of the tub. It takes a while, and again, like I said, this has glitched out for me in the past, I've gone to round 20 plus and not had this after 300 melee kills, but then in other games I'll jump in on co-op and get it by round 13, 14. It's weird. I'm not sure if the game is kind of bugging out right now and requiring you to have the redeemer at this point in order for it to work, but like I said at the beginning, your best bet is probably to get that redeemer done as early as possible just in case. So when you get your 100 melee kills, you'll hear a sound and the bath will go red. So it's filled with blood now and you can go over to it, hold square, and you should find that it takes your silver spork. This is a good sign, even though it looks like you're just losing your weapon. You've now got some gems to find around the map, which is exactly what the leaker said would happen at this stage in the Easter egg, funnily enough. The three locations are as follows. One is in D block in the kind of original mob spawn area. You're going to want to throw your redeemer at it and that's going to pick it up. It can be found just on the floor there. It looks like a pebble kind of thing. The next one we'll be going for is on the roof near the warden's house. You should see it kind of in the drain pipe here, I guess. Throw your redeemer once again and you should be able to grab that. And the final one is going to be inside the same basket held by the crane that we got the silver spoon from originally. So go back over to that thing, zap it once again. The crane will lift up, it'll stop moving. You can redeem it and you'll then have your final rock. These rocks go in three traps around the map. You've got a green rock which goes in the acid trap on the floor. You've got a red rock which goes in the kind of chain trap I guess in New Industries and your third and final blue rock will go in the fan trap which is going into the warden's office. I believe that there's an order that the game will want you to do these in so if you're trying to place down one of your rocks and it's not working just go to one of the other traps and try that and if that still doesn't work then try your third one obviously. You should be able to place your rock down and you then once you've placed it down need to get 100 trap kills with the rock there sitting on the floor next to it as it's going. This is a pain in the butt. I mean, it takes a while, right? You've already killed 100 zombies on the roof. You've already killed 100 zombies with the melee weapon. And now you need to get 100 more three times. But that's what Treyarch wants us to do. So you bet we're going to do it. When you've got your 100 trap kills, you should see the rock break apart. And inside there'll be a little glowing gem that you can pick up. Then just move on to your next trap. Rinse and repeat. Put the rock down. Get 100 trap kills by it. It will break into a gem. Pick it up. Then go to your final trap trap, put your rock down, get 100 trap kills, get the gem, and then we've only got one last gem that we need to get. Now that might sound weird because we only had three rocks and now I'm saying there's a fourth gem. This one's really easy, okay? Go into the cafeteria, take the fast travel to new industries. As soon as you get out, do a 180 and inside the actual fast travel, you'll see on the right hand side a little gem outline throw your redeemer at it, and you'll notice that it disappears, but it doesn't go into your inventory. That's because it's actually just on the floor behind you. So spin around and then pick it up off the floor. Now you can go over to the metal press where we built our magma gat and hold square. You should then build yourself the golden knife scalpel shiv, 
whatever the hell I'm gonna end up calling this in the video title. I don't think the community has really decided on a name for this thing yet because no one really knows what it's called. Like, the characters don't really say anything particularly defining and the game doesn't give you a melee weapon name. So, I guess Golden Spork Knife Shiv Scalpel Sword is good enough? I should note here that if you've got the new perk, it'll be very hard to see this melee weapon actually helping you in your game. It's a bit weird, like you spend all that time with the golden spork and this perk and then you get the golden knife and you're like, uh, well, I kind of wish I didn't have the perk right now because then I'd be able to actually see the melee weapon in action. So in a true act of selflessness, I downed myself to lose my perk just for you guys. No more speed cola for me. And you can see in the gameplay, this is what it looks like without ethereal razor on. It's pretty cool looking, I guess, but it's also pretty underwhelming for the sheer amount of work you have to do for this thing. Like, this takes a while. It's gonna obviously do things like help you kill Brutus faster if you want to chuck a melee weapon into him and stuff along those lines, but Brutus isn't exactly hard to kill anyway, so I honestly think that this weapon is maybe not worth the effort that you have to go through to get it, especially with Ethereal Razor in the game, but hey, it's cool. It's got gems on it. It looks funky. It's like an infinity gauntlet knife. Hey, you know what? Maybe that's what we should call it. You've got your yellow, blue, green, red. I guess the only thing that we're missing would be purple, right? I think if my Marvel knowledge is actually correct, but it could well be wrong. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that those are the colors of the stones anyway. So I guess you've got a kind of infinity knife. That sounds pretty good. A gold infinity knife. Hell yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here because this has already been way too long. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Drop a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.